what are the key challenges Swiss private banks are facing? Of course, the extensive new regulation is one of the key challenges. It has led to higher cost and more complexity. Banks had little time to develop the business. Clients have become more demanding and fee sensitive. Competition between banks and financial centers has become much fiercer. Banks need to think how they address the opportunities of digital. A lot of them are still working with old systems. On top, the culture in the banks has to be adopted to this new environment. So, what needs to be done? Radical transformation of business and operating models is needed. New revenue streams have to be found to improve margins again. In addition, they need to clearly define what the bank stands for and focus on these core strengths to create value for clients. Overall, customer satisfaction is fundamental and needs to be the key focus. Well, is enough action being taken? A minority of banks has taken serious action. The majority, however, have not. Therefore, my answer is no. We see more focus on growth, defining clear strategies and focusing the business. But from an industry perspective, it is nowhere near enough. Is this also reflected in their financial figures? Yes, very clearly. The key performance indicators tell the story. Despite all the actions taken by the banks, figures got worse again in 2016. Operating income margin and net new money have fallen to their lowest level in the past seven years. Meanwhile, cost-income ratio has reached its highest level. What happens if things continue this way? The future of many Swiss private banks is at risk. Most weak performers will almost certainly exit the market over the coming years. Others will join them unless they take concrete action. My advice, banks need to look at every aspect of the value chain to see where improvements could be made.